Hello, welcome to today's technical topics. Today we're going to talk about installation of the sign hammer units. You know, there's always been questions on why we install the sign hammer units the way we do, what is our recommendation, what are the best practices, and it's important for the performance of the unit that we install it as, as good as possible to the equipment we want to protect. The reason being is that every additional inch of wire can add let through voltage to the equipment that's being protected. So while we understand that not every situation can be perfect, the idea is six, 15, six inches, 15 centimeters, and keep the wires as, as straight as possible. We want to avoid 90 degree bends. Slow sloping curves are the best. Now, if the wires are going to be longer than 15 to 20 centimeters, it's always recommended that you braid the wires together. That helps to reduce the impedance and keeps the lead through voltage as low as possible. Now, it's very important that you never add wires to the lead links, to the, to the phase wires. Keep them always as short. If you need to increase wire length on the ground, that's fine. If you'll take that green ground wire to the can or to the panel itself, and then take another wire from that to the ground bus. That is proper installation. Reason, the client made an investment in the sign tamer unit and you want to make sure he gets the best performance possible.